A little over a year ago, I came up with a new way to challenge myself in the wilderness. The concept involved me being locked to the area until I'd completed a certain goal. The idea took off, and I made a bunch of videos using this concept. The most popular one being the 2,222 rev kills without banking, an idea that both Reese and Torvesta took to even further heights. Well, now I've decided to step it up. With the gear you see here, I'll be attempting to obtain 1 billion GP without leaving the wildy. Welcome to Exiled. P.P. Slayer. You've been tried and found guilty for your crimes against Gilinor. As your punishment, you've been condemned to exile in the wastes of the wilderness. As you know, there is a chance for you to redeem yourself. Bring back one billion GP and the king will allow you to return. We've provided a small arrangement of items to aid you with this. It's not worth much, but neither are you. Guards are stationed across the entirety of the ditch. Attempt to leave early and you will be cut down. Now get out of my sight. The sponsor deal you're about to see includes 50% off your first box of pre-prepared meals. Hey man, come with me. What? Why? Don't you want a high quality and convenient meal? Uh, sure. Alright, here we are. My pal Lydio here can hook you up with the finest cheesy potatoes in Gilinor. Heals 16 hit points and only costs 9 gold pieces. I thought this was a Factor sponsor. Oh yeah, that's right. Let me tell you a little bit about Factor. Factor is an amazing meal delivery service that can suit a multitude of lifestyles. Whether you may be trying to get more protein in your diet or want to eat vegetarian, Factor is going to have a plan for you. From my own personal experience, it's a great feeling being able to have food ready for you in just a couple minutes, and that food actually tastes good. All the meals come fresh and ready to either toss in the microwave or cook in the oven. Giving it a try is also really easy as the first box is 50% off and you can cancel it if you don't want the next one. But I've got a feeling that won't be the case. Go ahead and use code POGPOISONNOV50 for the 50% discount on your first box. Link in the description. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. And so it begins. Obviously, to start off here, we are extremely vulnerable, but we do have means of attacking. We have 274,000 Mithril Arrows. If you're wondering why Mithril Arrows, that was the only arrow I could use that kept me under 1 million GP. As you can see, 962,000. We are going to be very weak for a very long time, but that makes it more exciting. So for those of you new to this channel, I'd like to direct you to the corner right here. This is not an FPS meter. This is my heart rate monitor. So anytime I start getting PK'd, you'll be able to see just how close I come to cardiac arrest. 17 is our max hit with rigor. There it is, our first food. Oh, it's beautiful. And we're also gonna pick up the dark crab fishing bait. That is exactly why I brought the lobster pot. We're going to be making a lot of money from dark crabs, I think, but also we're going to use that as a source of replenishing our supplies. And there is our trusty looting bag. This is going to be huge for us throughout the entire series. In fact, I think we're already going to start by putting some dark crab fishing bait inside of it. All right, there it is. The first teleport. Beautiful. Not the best teleport because it takes me into deep wilderness and multi, but it is still a teleport. Ah, this is a better teleport. Gorok. It's still in the deep wilderness, but at least it takes me to singles instead of multi. Oh, and there is the Blighted Ancient Ice Sax. This is going to be our number one escape if ever we get caught in singles, or if we get caught in multi and there's only one person. We'll just throw on the magic set, cast one of our ice barrages, and we'll walk under them or go around an obstacle. Oh, there it is. Thank goodness, I only have 11 prayer points left. Our first Blighted Super Restore. And we're going to use just about all of it right now. And another one. I think that was back to back. Well, we are basically set on prayer, set on food. So I think it's time to go up to the Fountain of Rune and get our first task. So basically, every single time we want to get a Slayer task, we are going to need to switch to the Lunar Spellbook. And then we're going to need to cast NPC Contact for Crystalia, And she's going to give us a task. Now, the only rule that I have for this series, besides not leaving the wilderness, is that I can't go to the Rev Caves unless I have a task. So that's why Wilderness Slayer is going to be very important for this series. The first task is... Dark Warriors. Not that bad, but not that good either. I always have to be careful past 20 Wildy because my only escape is going to be a logout. What the hell? Oh, I, I tried teleporting even though I was beyond 20 wild. Oh my god, my heart. So even though these higher levels are going to have a higher chance for Laren's Keys, I am only going to be killing the lower levels because with this setup, we are not going to be killing the 145s fast. I think we can just go up a level here and all of these guys are now just level 8s and yes they are. That makes things much better. You want to know the best part about this task? 
I could AFK in this area for probably 20 hours straight and I still wouldn't die. So th this this can be the laid back task. No PKer is ever going to check the second floor of the Dark Warriors Fortress. And there we go, 99 Dark Warriors finished. No Laren's keys, but I'm not gonna expect them from level eights. What's our next task? Hubba, 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 hubba. Oh, don't do that. I gotta tell you, I spend a lot of time in the wilderness and I just don't see people at the Fountain of Ruin. Certainly not in that setup. Come on, Cresselia, give me a good one here. <sighs> 106 rogues, huh? That's not good, but uh, it's not terrible, I guess. And there's no safe spot to do this. Bandits is not my task. What did I get for a task? I don't even remember now. Was it rogues? Oh, okay, it was rogues. Rogues, bandits, same thing. All right, rogues has got to be one of the easier tasks because all of the lower level guys are inside of the castle while the higher level guys are outside of the castle. And they're also one of the very few NPCs in the wilderness that does not auto aggro onto you. An easy clue scroll. Actually impossible to complete. The only chance we would have would be an extraordinarily lucky hard clue scroll. And that's about it. But that means we would need to get four steps in a row that were all in the wilderness. But if that did happen, we'd have a chance of getting blessed dehyde, which would be a huge upgrade in tank. Back to back grimy Raynar drops. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to pick these up. They don't sell for anything at the wildy shops, and they're obviously not stackable either. We're looking for frequently obtained, valuable, stackable items. That's what we need. And another task done. Okay, what do you want? What do you think that I want? 81 spiders, it's a short task. If I had the Vigoras Chain Mace, I would consider doing Spindle, but of course we don't, so there's gonna be no chance of us doing any of the Wildy Bosses. And there it is, another one done. I just realized that there is a better spot for this spider's place. You can actually kill them right here, and I think that it is better. It's also in multi-combat. 99 Blood Vells. oh boy. Oh no, I just realized. I don't have any god equipment. And then I brought the Guthix cape. If I brought the Sarah or Zami cape, that would have helped me, but the Guthix cape does nothing. Okay, after thinking for a bit, I do have a plan. We can get a Zamorakian item from these Elder Chaos Druids. They drop Zamorak tops and I think Zamorak bottoms, so... If we can get one of those, then we have protection against Zami. The hard part is going to be getting protection against Sarah Dolman. I think the only way I'm gonna be able to get that done is by killing somebody that has monk robes on. But in this gear setup, that is not going to be an easy task. We do have freezes that we'll be able to use, but we have no KO weapons whatsoever. So we'll basically have to get lucky and hope they don't have any food. Or, you know, we could always just get a four-step wildy hard clue scroll and get a god item that way. Yeah, I didn't think so. You know, I was thinking of the Samurak Monk top where it's going to be around a 1 in 50 drop rate, 1 in 30 drop rate. Nope. It's a 1 in 354 drop rate for an item that is worth 700 to 3,000 GP. But yeah, I didn't realize, but we could be here a very long time. No way. After just complaining about it. Oh my God. You just got to complain. You just... <laughs> We're out of here. I only killed 22. That is so lucky. Okay, on to the monk robe grind. What we need to figure out is exactly where somebody would be using monk robes, but also be using zero food. First things first though, before we do anything, we have to get more ice sacks for more freezes because that's gonna be our most powerful PKing utility. This is why it's really good to plan out a series when you're making it. <laughs> you overlook one thing and all of a sudden you're on a 20 hour detour. Oh, Trover Parchments. Yeah, I think that that is definitely going to be a solid slot in the looting bag. We're going to be getting a ton of Trover Parchments throughout this series. So we went from 30k to 847k. Nearly 0.1% done. Oh my goodness, is that a rune dagger? Yes, it is. Come here. This is huge. Whew. 4,800. Well, it looks like we also got a DPS increase, 14 Addy Arrows. 19 is the new max hit with the Addy Arrows. Two better than the Mithril Arrows. <gasps> there it is. Yes. Oh, the magic short bow and bew scroll. A significant upgrade. And there it is. And it's even got that new sprite on it right there. Get some accuracy and we can now spec twice in a row. And there's the last of it. 23, that should be enough to at least get one PK. I've got to kill somebody and I got to hope that they don't have any food on them. I think we might have to go to Scorpia for this one. Yeah, so I just checked the poison damage from Scorpia. It's 20. So we're going to have to come up with a new, new plan. Wait, I got it. Lava Dragons. People definitely would be in Monk Robes at Lava Dragons. 
Oh, please don't do that. Look, it just got a double logout in the, the, the same tick. So we just spam click on this spot and hope we get somebody. Oh, there we go. We got him. Go with a little whack. He doesn't even know how to pray. He's that dumb of bot. Good fight, Mr. Bot. All right, doesn't look like he had any monk robes, but he does have a stamina potion. I could make use of that. In fact, you know what? I think I will make use of that. We may still have to go to the Wildy Bosses, and I don't really think there's many bots there, so I'm going to actually have to kill a real person. Now, the safest of the Wildy Bosses to do is going to be Vedion, because you can avoid all damage. This is extraordinarily dangerous. It doesn't really get more dangerous than this. If I drop in and there's a clan inside, it's just over. Oh, there's activity inside. All right. I've only got 16 ice barrage sacks left, but here we go. Did, did he just log? <gasps> I forgot you can get poisoned by these things. No! Oh my god, dude. Okay, I take six poison damage from them. Oh, wait, genius idea. We run to the Fountain of Rune, switch our spellbook to Lunars, and then cure me. All right. So we do have one method to heal poison, but this is not going to be reliable at all. I completely forgot that you can just log out at Vedion because you're not in combat unless you're on the dogs or you got hit by the lightning. So another new idea here, we're gonna get blighted teleport sacks from these ice giants, switch to the standard spell book so that we can use teleblock. Then we're gonna find somebody inside of this cave that has monk robes, teleblock them and switch back to ancients so that we can kill them. Oh, is that it? It is indeed it. We got a whole eight of them too, so this will last a while. Oh, damn it. He's a level 69. Oh, why must you taunt me of those deliciously brown robes? Hello? Was he in monk robes? I think he was. Oh, oh no. And an instant telly because it's a bot. Jagex, fix your game. Yeah, we got a chance here. So we just run in. Get ready. He's naked. The first time I... Get, look at him, he's AFK too. Oh my god, dude. I am so... Who does that? Like, monk robes are 800 GP, my guy. And you get so much prayer bonus from it. Why are you not using monk robes? Okay, come on. Here we go. Come on. Come on. They're 120... Bro All right, that's it. We're just waiting in this hallway for them to come back. Yeah, I don't think they're coming back. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding. You... I'm... Ah! Mark my words, we will get this done. Whoa, oh boy. Multiple people on top of a spot. Never want to see that. More PKers are starting to show up now. This is starting to get very, very risky. Oh my God. I got someone. Wait, hold on. Do they have... No! He doesn't have monk robes on. Yeah, run away, man. I don't really need... I, I mean, I guess I could have killed him, and I, I could have used whatever he dropped, but I don't really think he's going to have anything that's useful to me. Not going to lie, I've been going at this for a couple of days now. Oh my god, there was a guy with a staff. I saw two people, and one of the guys was carrying a staff of the dead. That was not okay. Definitely need to be quicker on the hop there. You've got to be kidding me, bro. Oh my God, he just ran by me. He just ran by me. He didn't even do anything. I got stuck on a high risk world notification there. Therefore, I couldn't hop worlds. Oh my goodness. Somebody with a ballista. That's not cool. And he already had a kill. I'm just going to run in on this one. Kiraga. It's a good Final Fantasy reference, but you're not what I need. Oh my gosh. Oh. He had monk robes and he was level 110. Okay, world 459. Oh my god. D that guy's also got monk robes. Okay, we'll go for this guy first. No! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Now we go to the other world. Gotta do this quick. I got him. Yes! Come on, hit, you stupid staff! No! 
please. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god! I am so happy. Oh, and even had some Laren's keys. Oh, oh my god. There it is. Monk robe top, monk robe bottom. I'm screwed. I'm grabbing both of them. Oh, it's been days trying to get this done. Oh no, he's coming back for his stuff. Uh, I don't really think I can take anything else. I'll take the coins. And we got the monk robe top. Okay, let's finally get this task done. But before that, let's also get some more super restores. Oh my god, we just got another one. Honestly, this is one of those sad drops though, because I, I really don't even want to pick it up. There's no way I can ever use this toward my goal of 1 billion GP, because it's not a stackable item. So I'm actually going to just alk this, because it still does alk for 3k GP, I guess. Okay, here we go. This feels very, very wrong, but... 3k GP was gained. Look at that square-shaped giant ass. Hey, look, it's got a little bit of a wiggle to it. Somebody programmed that wiggle. Oh my god, finally. We got one. I think I'm gonna call that good and we're just gonna head to the Wildy God Wars dungeon now. That took a lot longer than I was expecting. All right, here we go. I think we're gonna get slapped in the mouth by the Bandos guys as soon as we get down there, but as long as we can get to that corner over there, I think we're fine. Oh, run. <laughs> we made it. Woo! All right. Of course, it's very important for us to stay out of combat because the second we go into combat, if somebody is to log in, we won't be able to log out. And we can't teleport here because it is not below 20 wild. I am aware of just how painfully slow tasks like this are going to be. But it's all worth it. We will be getting some GP from tasks like this, and we will also bring ourselves closer to hopefully getting a revenants task, which is the final goal here. And there is our first ecumenical key. Now, back in the day, this would be a very, very nice alc of 61,000 GP. However, unfortunately, because of botting reasons, Jagex has now removed the ability to alc these ecumenical keys. Jagex, a diary requirement. Just, that's all you gotta do. Most of the bots that were doing this were level 30 combat or under. Give it a hard diary requirement to be able to alc the things, and that's it. To think this place used to be the best place to do Willy Slayer. It had the best Laren's keys, you got some ecumenical keys on top for money, and then dragon boots from the spiritual mages. Now, this place is actually pretty garbage. Oh, hey, Rune Medhelm. That's, uh, that's pretty darn good, actually. 11,520 GP. Cash stack now at almost 300k, and the value total 1.673 mil. Still not even 1% finished with this series. We'll be 1% finished at exactly 10 million GP inside of the looting bag. Hey, there we go, another Laren's Key. That is now the second Laren's Key. And a hard clue scroll that almost positively will not be inside of the wilderness. I honestly don't even think I'm going to try. We are just not going to find a four-step hard clue where all of the steps are in Wildy. The chances of it are probably one in 10,000 to get that. I mean, I myself have done an enormous amount of hard clues in all of the hardcores that I have done, and I don't think I have ever had one hard clue that was entirely inside of the wilderness. Oh. Yes, we finally finish this task. All right, let's get out of here and hope we don't receive another one for a very, very long time. Okay, so we'll get to 20 Wilderness, teleport up to the Fountain of Rune here, and we need to change our spell book back to Lunars so that we can contact our lovely Cresselia. Please be kind. Oh, Black Dragons. Okay, it's only 16, but doing this with Mithril Arrows and an MSB imbued, not gonna be fun. And there are no baby black dragons inside of the wilderness either. These 19 black dragons might just... Oh my god. Uh, it wasn't... It was like... A, it was a pure... I don't even think he could attack me. Still, being this weak in the wilderness, <laughs> you don't even have any brews. It's just... Seeing somebody makes your heart want to explode. Okay, that kill took two minutes and 45 seconds. And we end up getting... Oh, we got an adamant plate body. That's not bad. Unfor... Oh, God. Oh, my God. He had a blister. Oh, I got to be quicker. I got to be quicker than that. Mm, I just am trying to explain some things for the series, man. Give me a break. So I've decided I'm going to be killing the black dragons in the northern part of the wilderness. Because one, it seems pretty active around here right now. 
And two, I just found out that I would not be able to make a dragon fire shield if I did get the draconic visage because I would need an anti fire shield and I would also need 90 smithing. So yeah, unfortunately that is not possible. And that's the only reason why I came here because it's a one in 5,000 drop for the draconic visage instead of the ones in the north, which is a one in 10,000 drop. You know, I really can't think of a safer spot in RuneScape than right here. There is going to be absolutely zero chance for any PKers to be checking in this spot. Unless maybe they'd be trekking for Runite ore bots, but I mean, nobody's even over there right now. Bots are way past mining Runite ore in the wilderness. There we go. Finally done with that task. We got some decent elks there, but uh, that's definitely not a very good task to do. On to the next one. Another task, please. Revenants. 90 bears. At least this is a faster one. I'm wondering whether or not I'm going to hit 99 Slayer during this series. We're 92 currently, and I think that just depends how long it's going to take for us to get a wildy weapon. If it takes a long time, we could very well hit 99. There we go. Another task done. Back to Cresselia. Come on, Cresselia. I know it's not the most common task, but please. Oh, God. No. Oh, that's such a long task. I should have blocked this task, man. I really should have. But it is good for Laren's keys, I guess. It's just going to be so much harder without a cannon. All right, 208 Greater Demons coming up. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. It is done. 208 greater demons, 25,000 slayer XP gained. I don't know how long that took. I'm going to assume it was a little bit over two hours, but yeah, let's get back up to the Fountain of Rune. Please, please, pirates. Oh no. It's going to be a pirate's task. And then right after that, it's going to go right back into greater demons, isn't it? Now for pirates, you need to have a lock pick. Thankfully, there is a way for you to get a lockpick inside of the wilderness itself, and that is by thieving rogues. Also, I have a very nice 99 thieving on this account, so this should be pretty easy. Oh, okay. Well, we're getting three pickpockets. I think it's fairly common, so not like we were going to spend a lot of time doing that. Sometime soon here, we could be making a detour over to the resource area because I do want to get some dark crab fishing in. We do have a method of doing the two tick dark crab method, which I will also be doing. That is some very good money right there. I think you can make upwards of about 1.2 million GP per hour and I am 99 fishing. So that will be about as efficient as you can get it. You'll notice that my heart rate reflects the danger of this task. I think my heart rate at greater demons was about 85. Now we're sitting at a very nice, low 70s even dipping into the 60s a bit oh my god we're going down to the 50s holy i've got a shiny thing on my magic short bow it's short and magic just like my oh and there is 69 pirates done all right i'm hopeful for revenants but as long as it's not greater demons or black demons i'll be happy okay black knights Good. Obviously, hindsight is 2020, but if I had thought properly about this, I would have blocked black demons and greater demons. Don't get me wrong, once we get the wildy weapons, they're going to be amazing tasks, but until we get the wildy weapons, they are the bane of our existence. Just north of us is the Venonatus Cave, which is very not dead, but this spot in particular, extremely dead. And as far as the drop table goes, well, it's a steel bar. That's about the best thing you can hope for. They're also a combat level of 33, which means probably no Laren's Key. Oh. Oh boy, oh boy. Flick me bean! He's just a PVMer, but still scaring the hell out of me. There we go, 97 Black Knights. And I think we can just run back up to the Fountain of Rune. Come on, Cressilli, I know you can do it. Moss Giants! Oh, God. Usually if a task is good or bad or not in the wilderness depends on one thing only. Is it in multi? If it's in multi, then it's probably okay. If it's in singles, then it's probably really, really bad. I definitely think I went overkill when it came to the arrow count. I probably didn't need this many, but I wanted to be more safe than sorry. I think I have a serious benefit in the fact that when PKers see me, all they see is garbage. I mean, I don't look like I'm worth 50,000 GP. They probably think I'm not worth the time. So I can use that as a very huge asset. However, once I get a wildy weapon, that will change very quickly. Another task done, 111 moss giants. Let's get to the next one. Oh God. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. 40 lava dragons with a magic short bow and mithril arrows. Another option I do have is to switch to Ancients and use my Blighted Ancient Ice Sacks to take care of them, but 
I don't have enough to get through the whole task, and I need some of these for escapes too. Not only that, but this is a very dangerous task. A lot of PKers go to Lava Dragon Isle. Tren in Mast. He's on the gear. Okay, let's see just how terrible this is gonna be. There's gonna be a lot of really nice Alks on this task, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay, solid two minutes to kill that first one. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna pray Mage because I don't wanna get Fire Breathed. And he hits me at 17, okay. Oh, oh. oh my god. No way. This is it. This is it. Please don't have a team. Please don't have a team. Oh, you up. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god, bro. Oh, I was so, so, so very slow on the log. So the damage done there, we lost some food and we lost a little bit of prayer. The scary thing was the thought of a team of 50 logging in to kill me. That's why I was so worried. If that was in singles, I've got no fear whatsoever, but it was in multi. We're gonna pray at this altar and we're gonna head to the ice giants and refill our inventory full of food. We're fully stocked on food again. We only have a half dose on our super restore but this should be more than enough to survive another PK attempt. So I'm gonna say, let's go back out there. I mean, I do have 112 ice sacks and it is 40 kills, so I could speed this up significantly by switching spell books and getting at least 10 kills with these ice sacks. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. A very good elk and some more dragon bones. We're lazy flicking and going to the logout button interchangeably because this task is just too slow to not use rigor. At least the drops here are pretty exciting. You can get some nice alks. I sometimes wonder what life would be like if I had rune arrows instead of meth. Oh wow, oh my god, wow, that's a drop. I'm going over for that drop, holy. But the only problem here is that I can't actually receive the benefit of these bolt tips. I mean, they're worth 8,466, but I can't get that Alk unless I get Runite bolts. I forgot to mention, but that is also Laren's key number five. Looting bag now worth three mil. Oh my, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm running around with D-Claws, holy. Certainly not wanting to mess with that. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. We now have a very big reason to grind Runite Ore. That is about 220,000 GP in Onyx Bolt Tips. And I just took a 20. No, very bad. Oh, one kill. I try for one kill to kill it inside of the Lava Dragon Isle. Only 100 for that peak heart rate. Somewhat surprising because my heart definitely skipped a beat there. Oh, yes. It's finally, and <laughs> we get more Onyx Bull tips. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, that's bad. That was somebody disguised as third age, whatever. Let's get out of here. What is it this time, Crystalia? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's it's better than the task I just had. Oh! Who oh, PKs of the Fount of Rune? Oh my god! All right, this is probably a good spot to do this. We're gonna kill the spiders to get our next looting bag. We're gonna be very vulnerable when we do this because we have to drop a lot of food to fill our inventory full of what is inside of our looting bag. So here we go. We're going to destroy. Yes. All right, let's pick all this stuff up. Go ahead and alk whatever alkables we accidentally picked up here. And we're just gonna alk this magic shortbow scroll that we've got because there is no way we'd be able to take it. We will not be taking the lava dragon bones. There's a looting bag right there. Good. We gotta be quick with this because our stuff is going to disappear. The Zamorak robes, we don't need the bottoms anymore. Lobster pot. And I think that that is it. We don't need to worry about anything else. Laren's keys in there. We're just gonna let the mithril axe and the monk robe bottoms disappear. We don't need those. And I think we're good. Okay, this looting bag is already looking much, much cleaner. And that is a full inventory of food. Oh my god, this Ceridoman mage safe spotted the Bloodveld. 
I am impressed. That's amazing. 77 blood belts killed. Unfortunately, no Laren's key this task. I think it's a 1 in 80 drop, so almost going dry on that. Don't you think by now I deserve a revenant's task, Cresselia? Come on. Oh, yeah, no, we're definitely going to Dark Crabs now. I left my home in Lumbridge Got a family and a job in Valley I finally had something to live for But then the lawman took it away Yeah, now I'm fishing on the edge of Wilde Watching the crabs roll my way I'm just fishing on the edge of Wilde Catching crabs And just like that, we have ourselves 1,188 Dark Crabs. Looting bag is going to be kind of skewed for money because the uh, GP is outside of it, but that is about 2.6 mil there in the looting bag without the 600k or the 5 Laren's keys. Let's see if we get incredibly lucky and we get 4 Wilderness Steps on this hard clue. Okay, step number 2. No way! Two wilderness steps in a row? All we need for this is a spade. We'll be able to do this one as well. Really? There is not a spade spawn, nor is there a shop that sells a spade in the wilderness. There's no way to get a spade in Wildy, unless I PK somebody that has a spade. I think that's something that we're going to leave for the next episode. So why don't we go ahead and take our five Laren's keys and cap things off, see if we get lucky with the Dagon High piece. If it wasn't for the Dagon High, I'd probably just keep the keys. Although that's really no fun. It's fun to open them, obviously. But the Dagon High pieces are going to give us a pretty significant boost in magic accuracy, as well as a boost in prayer bonus, which has to account for something. Let's see if we get obscenely lucky here. Palm tree seeds. That's not worth as much as the Laren's keys who are already down. Uncut diamonds. All right. That's not as much as Laren's key. Ah, oh, there we go. Making up for it. 300,000 in the dragon arrow tips. Beautiful. And then we get some more uncut diamonds. So not too great. And two rune plate bodies. Okay. Well, we can elk the two rune plate bodies for the 77k there. The palm tree seeds, I mean, I guess I'll keep them for now. And if we put everything in the looting bag, we now have 3.9 million GP. On top of the 3.9 million GP in the looting bag, if we look, we have 1.17 million GP inside of our risk value, which means we are at a value now of 5 million GP. An entire 0.5% to 1 billion. But every series has to have a start, and I was expecting this one to have a slow start. However, in the next episode, I expect things to pick up, especially if we end up getting a Revenant's task. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. If you like the first episode of this series, then you might like the first series that kickstarted this channel, High Risk Hardcore Iron Man. Speaking of Hardcore Iron Man, I'm streaming Hardcore again on twitch.tv slash Poison Potion. You can find a link for that in the description. And as always, a big special thanks to Mia IRL, Vinyl, Latchy, and Mr. Snowmiser.